Right, welcome back to my second video in the series on how to create a responsive pho photography portfolio website. In this episode I'm going to talk a little bit about flexible units in CSS and how to use them in your web page. So in the last video I showed you the images were too large for the web page. Um, one way you could fix this is by going into the flexible CSS file and targeting all the images and adding a width of say 600 pixels. It will save that and load it back up and as you can see all the images are now at 600 pixels. Now this is all well and good as I can view it on my monitor or I can view it in a tablet size but when you get down to mobile you can see that you have to scroll across the page to see the whole image. Um, so that doesn't really work out too well but instead of using pixels we could use um, a percentage unit so if we were to say to say 50% and then save that what this will do is when I refresh the page is it will resize the image to 50% of its parent container element so if I were to set the class flexbox container to a width of say 500 pixels and then refresh the page you can now see that these display at 50% of 500 pixels as the parent element is 500 pixels and if we inspect this you can see it says 250 pixels of width and 141 pixels in height. So this can be a really useful tool but the problem is is that what if we want larger images on larger screens and smaller images on smaller screens? That's where we set we will change it from a width to a max width. So now when we refresh the page a max width of 50% but you can scale it down to a smaller size for mobile. What this means is that the maximum resolution for the image will be 50% of the parent size so it's not always going to be 50%. When it reaches its full resolution it will stop being stretched down or made wider for the resolution. But what if we want to make the text on a web page fluid and responsive as well? To do this, I'll first add in a h1 tag with the text gallery. And then in the flexible CSS file, I will target h1 and set the font size to 6vw. And what that means is view width. So depending on the browser window will depend on how the text is rendered and as we lower the view width of the browser it will lower the font size and I'm pretty sure the same can be applied to the view height so if we set that then you get a really tall text but as we reduce it in height it reduces in size the width won't affect it that only affects the view width So yeah, that's just a little bit about flexible units. In the next episode, I'm going to be talking a bit about Flexbox. And in the episode after that, we'll be looking at media queries and how to apply them so that different rules apply to different viewport sizes. Another thing to remember, though, when you're using VM or VH is that it's not fully supported by all browsers at the moment. The best website to check compatibleness of code is to use Can I Use... I'll include a link in the description, caniuse.com is perfect if you need to check if you can use a feature that is in CSS3 or HTML that may not be compatible with all browsers at the moment. As you can see, it is supported by 4 out of 5 browsers, but you don't. You always want to have a fallback just in case you don't support your audience.